Hello and welcome to day 7 of Defemorembra, your daily ephemera inspiration in December. Today's prompt is safety pin and postage stamp. Let's create some beautiful ephemera with this. Today's prompt seems to be really, really easy for me because, yeah, postage stamps, no problem. <laughs> I have this postage stamp album here that I made for myself and I have collected many stamps in here so that I, yeah, just could pick some and use them for today's prompt. But what to do if you don't have such an album or if you don't have postage stamps? What could you use alternatively? So one possibility would be, of course, to use a digital printable. So um, I have prepared something here. So what you can see here is a digital printable that um, you can find in my Etsy shop. So um, these postage stamps come on such sheets so that you can print them out and then cut them like this one here for example and then you can turn them into a postage stamp by just taking such a hole punch and punching around this whole thing so that would be a possibility if you don't have real postage stamps the link to this item and to these um, stamps is down below in the description box if you want to check that out Another possibility, if you probably have no printer or, or you don't want to buy a printable, would be um, to take such a die cut and cut some postage stamps out of some scrapbooking paper or whatever. Um, yeah, these things here you can can get on Amazon or I think this one is from AliExpress. So just type in um, postage stamp die cut, then you will find lots of different variations of these die cuts. But <laughs> what to do if you don't have a die cut machine or you don't want to buy such a die cut thingy? Of course, you could also take a piece of paper, so this is just a leftover scrapbooking paper, and you could color this or yeah, draw something on top, and then you could just um, take a punch, <clears throat> so let's take the bigger one here, and you could just do it like this and go around this whole piece of paper and then in the end you would have this frame that's typically for a postage stamp. That would be also a possibility. For today's project I would like to try a mix out of all these possibilities. So I would like to use some real postage stamps from my album here. I would like to try something with my printable postage stamps with the die cut and with this totally handmade thingy um, so that you can see the difference between yeah the results that I hopefully have in the end and um, that you can decide which of the possibilities you would like to try for yourself. So first of all I would like to create yeah something like a really simple version of a master board. So I'm taking this paper here as a base and I I'm just gluing some scraps here and there to make an interesting background for this project. Um, and later on, I would like to cut this so that I have an interesting base in hopefully a really different way on each postage stamp. Um, so um, my plan is... <laughs> <laughs> my plan is that I have something that is similar or the same on each of my postage stamps in the end. Um, how much you will see of this thing on each result, I can't tell you now, but I want to have something that's um, that makes this postage stamp collection a little bit cohesive um, so that you can see that they um, belong together in yeah, some kind of a postage stamp series or how can I say that?
In the next step, I would like to use some white gesso to mute this down a little bit and to make this something like, uh, yeah, <laughs> how can I say that? I want to have something that looks like a background and I don't want to see these single scraps so extremely. And now I would like to make this a little bit more winter stylish. Uh, yeah, <laughs> don't know how to say that. So I have this bubble wrapping thingy here. Make sure that you have the bubbles on the right side. And then I just put some gesso here. Ooh. If it perhaps want to come out. <laughs> So I like to use gesso or acrylic paint for this step. And I'm just bringing this around here with my paintbrush really randomly. I don't want to get a really clear and crisp result, but something abstract that perhaps looks like snow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if that can work. So I'm just placing this here pressing really carefully to this so that I can get, get the gesso to my background. Okay, so let's lift this up and you have this cool result. I think we can use it again here. When this is totally dry, I think we could add some black splatters here and there to make this background a little bit more filigree and interesting. And I think this looks really nice. Whew. <laughs> Don't spritz to your album, Louisa. This looks really nice in combination with these white uh, little circles there. Okay, so this is dry now, so we can do the next steps. And first of all, I would like to take my um, postage stamp die cut <coughs> and cut some of these out of this paper here. So let's see how that can work. I just, I want to do that really randomly. So I, I don't want to overthink this and I don't want to, yeah, think about where to put the die cut <laughs> so um, that I get the most surprising results. Just place it here and run it through my machine. So <clears throat> if you don't have a die cut or this um, die cut machine, of course, you could also take this base that we've just made and take your cutting machine. So let's cut just some rectangles. If you look at a normal postage st st stamp, sorry, that you can get with a mail or whatever, you can see that the postage stamp has this white zigzag thingy frame around. So we don't have this here. We have this colored frame. So um, this is one variation that you can make this in this colors. And another thing that you can do is, of course, you can um, cut some rectangles and then make this white frame with another paper. So um, for that, we can use yeah here this scrapbooking paper and we can just 
put this here and I think this would be perfect, a perfect size. So let's just glue that. And when we have that, we are just cutting this here. So, oops, <laughs> let's bring that to the middle, sorry. So that we have this um, wide frame around and then we can take our punch and just go around here. I will just um, do this method for these both um, thingies here as well. Okay, so now we have this. I'm already really happy with these. I think they look really, really cute. And what shall we do with the other ones? I think um, on some of these we could perhaps put some real postage stamps. So as I said, I would like to show you some variations and um, I think it look uh, could look really cute if we put some real postage stamps here on top. Mm, I'm searching for something bluish, greenish thing. So, and of course it has to have the right size. That's a little bit too short, even if the color would be really great. So let's see what else do we have here. And then I would like to know what will happen if I use one of my printable postage stamps that obviously uh, is not in the same color range. So I have just cut that out and I've went around with um, my punch here to make this frame. And I also want to try to put this here to our background and just see what happens and if it just fits into the rest later or not. <laughs> so this is a little experiment, but you know, <laughs> junk journaling is experimenting and this Defemoramba series is some kind of experimenting as well. So let's try that. So I'm just putting this here and then I will just cut that with my cutting machine. Okay, so this is what I got. <laughs> I'm a little bit uh, a little bit uh, confused about this. I'm not sure if I will like it in the end in combination with the others, but let's see. <laughs> let's see. Okay, so um, the next thing that we have to do is we have to bring some numbers to those of our stamps that, yeah, until now don't have these numbers because every stamp, of course, says how much it is worth and we need that here as well <clears throat> so the easiest way would be to write it um, with a black pen for example i like to try um, to stamp that because my handwriting you know <coughs> is not so <coughs> aesthetic so i'm just taking some random numbers and i'm just Stamping them here. And then we, of course, um, need something um, like this here. So this postmark thingy. Um, I like to use some stamps as well. So I have these both that are, yeah, obviously this kind of stamps. Um, and I like to stamp that like this so not totally to the middle so that this is um, that the stamp can be seen totally but here to the to this edge 
Um, and you can also do some variations, of course, with that, like you want it. Could also <coughs> put one here and another part, for example, here, so that it looks more interesting and used, especially, yeah, it looks used. Um, another thing, if you don't have those postage, posted, post, <laughs> postmark stamps, you could also use any other round stamp that you have. So this is uh, this cockwheel stamp thingy that would also work. And what I like to try is this little button here. So this is round as well. And I thought about um, solutions um, for you so that you can use what you have. So I want to try to use this as a stamp. And let's see if it gives us the Im imagination that this is a postmark thingy. Not really, but it looks interesting. <laughs> I think I have to use um, something smooth underneath. So let's try <clears throat> to take this thing and um, do that again. Because I think my table is too hard. So that I can't press hard enough. So, I mean, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, okay. So, th that looks way better. And I think <laughs> I really like this effect. So, shall we perhaps put some of these lines here to the other ones as well? Why not? So that we have whoo, this connection as well. That looks really cool. Look at this. Ha 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 Okay. We could perhaps also do this here, even if we have a postage stamp here, but that looks really cool. That makes it way more interesting, I think, with these little marks there. I would say this is a great variation of handmade postage stamps now, but on our Defemramba prompt list, there was a second word. So there was postage stamp and safety pin. So <laughs> as you can see, until now we haven't used any safety pins. So I have taken out some from my stash. As you can see, these normal ones that we all know, um, I think those bulb pins would also work. It's also some kind of a safety pin. And I have these both special ones here. These are, yeah, some safety pins. These are made by Tim Holtz and they are really cool. They have this, you know, this cool thing here on top. And um, yeah, if you know me, you know, I could take one of these and put them somewhere here. That would look cute. You could also use the safety pin um, to attach the stamp to your journal page. But yeah, as I said, you know me, that would be absolutely too boring for me. So <laughs> I've decided that I want to um, include two things to my postage stamps here to make them really unique and really special. The first thing is I want to try to add some sentiments. So I have these stickers here and I want to choose some really small ones. Uh, I mean, short ones to put them somewhere here. And I also want to include da -da -da -da, some butterflies. I know, butterflies in winter, that's probably a little bit strange for you. But I thought with this wintry background that we have here with these blue, blue and green colors and this white that seems to be something like snow, this could be really, really cute. So... Yeah, and I want to attach the butterflies with the help of my safety pin. So that's, yeah, <laughs> the idea behind that. And I thought this red one here could perhaps look nice on this red postage stamp. So let's decide where we want to put him. I think here on the postmark it looks really great. Or perhaps here so that we can put our sentiment here hmm 
<laughs> or the other way around, this here and the sentiment here. Yeah, I think that would be better. So let's see what we have. We need something that's really short so that we don't destroy the, you know, the proportions of this thing. Let life surprise you. That would be great, but it's, I think it's too long. Yeah, it's a little bit too long. Um, always choose adventure. Oh, also great, but secrets of the heart. Okay, so that's nice as well. Let's take that. Okay, I think that's cute. Oh, that's cute. I like it. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's perhaps first put the butterflies where we want them. I think this is great as well. I mean, this covers up a lot of this original postage stamp, but I think that has its own charm. Uh, charm, is that a word? <laughs> and now when I think about this, it would probably have been better to put the postage stamp more to the top so that we have more space here on the bottom for this sentiment. But let's see, perhaps we can... We can manage that. I want to see this number, I, but I think that's not possible. Or perhaps like this. No, no, no. Let's try it like so. So let's try to fix the butterflies. And I thought we could just take such a punch or alternatively some kind of needle. Mm, would this be very big? Yeah, but I think we need some flexibility. So um, I will punch a hole directly oops, into the butterfly's body and take the safety pin that I want to use. I think this black one is great. And I'm holding this to find the position for the second hole so that I can bring this thing through it. Okay, so um, I think I can't do it so that you can see it, sorry. I will show you that in a second so that I have two holes here now and now I can oops, Allah, now this is a little bit loose because this sticker is not very sticky on this background so let's just take some glue and fix this problem like this and then we can Take this, put it through here and close it, hopefully. Ah, oh, that's so filigran. Okay, I think I have it. And I think <laughs> this looks really cute. And you also now could use this safety pin to attach the postage stamp to your junk journal page. Just open it poke it through the paper of your page and then you would have it there and it would also be a little bit flexible when you um, attach it with this thingy here. Okay, so we have this, so we can be happy, I think. Um, so let's try a bulb pin on the next one. So first of all, let's try to find the position for this <coughs> butterfly and just glue it there. I will only glue it in the middle of his body so that the wings are a little bit 
three-dimensional. Okay, so how do we have to do this? I think we can't do it in the same way like on this one because the bulb pin has this round thingy here on the bottom. Hmm. I have to poke these holes, uh, punch these holes way closer to each other. So let's try it. The only thing that can happen now is that this will not work. So if you don't try it, you will never know it. Okay, so that's really difficult, but it works. Oh, it works. Okay. Yeah, it's in German we would say stramm. <laughs> so it's a little bit, you know, you can't move it so well, but I think this looks cute as well. I really like that. The holes are a little bit big, aren't they? But I think that's also cute. Oh, 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 oh. Louise, <laughs> do that. Oh, I just have an idea. <laughs> Sorry. Look at this. So we are punching, just punching some holes here and there. Okay, so not too much, not too much. <laughs> um, to make this illusion that these both holes that we have here are part of the the design. Do you know what I mean? So now it looks like it has to be like it is. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my goodness. Sometimes I love my own ideas so much. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 So let's do some more. That's so cool. Oh my goodness. Please tell me that you like that. So let's try that here as well. Where are you? Here it's a little bit easier because the area here to punch is much bigger. Oh. Perhaps here into the wing. Is this cute? Okay, if this isn't cute, I don't know. I really don't know. This is my finished project for today. I hope you liked it and I hope you would like to try to make your own handmade faux postage stamps um, with a safety pin. And <sighs> I'm so excited to see your results. So please, if you make your own and you want to share them, then please use the hashtag defamremba. Um, everything about this whole Defemoramba prompt list and this series on the, my channel and the channel of Barbara from 49 Dragonflies is listed down below in the description box. So if you want to check out the details, then please read the description box carefully. And we both are hoping oops, Allah, that you would like to follow us. So yeah, be creative. See you the next time. Bye bye.